We're at Mintdale Engineering, known for milling, turning, brazing to a number of different industries, but they've invested in the first citizen sliding head lathe. I see a lot of citizen machines, I'm thinking fast, accurate, reliable, great service and support, but this is your first citizen slide head machine, the L32 Type 12. Jason, why did you buy it? Because it was the right machine for us to buy. I did quite a bit of uh, research into machines to replace an existing machine we've got. We didn't want anything big, it needed to be smallish, but I needed to, the 32 just fitted in nice for what the things we needed to turn. I didn't want to go up to a 42 because everything starts getting a bit too big then. So uh, that's why we picked it. Plus, the Citizen is very modular, you can add on to it at a later date. Um, whatever you want, like we have added on to it since we did buy it, so uh, yeah, it's, it's been very good so far. So as we expect, it's got main spindle, sub spindle, what about tooling options? Well, you've got, well, of course you've got your C-axis on both axes, you've got live tooling on both axes, you've got Y-axis on both axes, so you can do, of course you've got your B-axis as well, which means you can do nearly anything you want to do. Okay, when you say that, what sort of things are you doing on the machine with these, all these different axes and options? Well, we're doing, we do, uh, we do a little job, which is that one there, which uses B axis just to drill the four holes in the front. Um, but, but with that, that component there, how many are you making a year as an example? Well, we, do, we do them in batches. We do, well, there's about 100,000 a year. We do them in batches of about, of about 30,000. Okay. And with that B axis, the job is a lot, lot quicker, a lot, lot easier. It is, it's really quick. Live tooling on them, it, compared to the older machines where you've got to like, wait for the live tooling to speed up when you want to run them at high speed, you've got to wait for them to speed up for a dwelling. On them, on a citizen, you don't. It's just, it's there. Just like that. So, really, really fast. Now, what about this one here? This job, this one, it's like got your B axis on it to do the holes in the end, plus we do engraving on it, which is really quick and it's dead easy to program. Okay. So, before there were issues in terms of getting the engraving done? Yeah, well, there weren't issues, it was just a bit of a faff doing program. I'll pour it. But with a citizen software that they provide, it is really quick and it just does it. Just tell, nice. it, just tell it what size writing you want and that's it. Tell it where you want it and it just does it. So you mentioned the B axis, how's that helped? Well, it's a lot easier to set on this machine because what you can do is you can just set tool on end of the job and then once you've done that, because you tell it which, which, offset, which direction you're setting it in, as soon as you've touched on and you've set it, it knows then no matter what angle you put it at, where it is, where the end of the tool is. Whereas on all other machines, is if you want to drill an hole at 45 degrees, you need to set that tool at 45 degrees. So you've got to set its position at 45 degrees, and then it knows where it is. So you mentioned intuitive. Another thing you said about it being intuitive is in terms of the tools moving around the machine. Yes, it knows when it, when you pull your tools in, it knows where the end of the tools are. So it knows if it's got to, how much it's got to move out of the way. If you've got a tool stuck out in the middle of the others, it knows it's got to move far enough out of the way to be able to move down to miss it. If, if that makes sense. That makes sense. Absolutely. Just in case, you know, just in case someone's got it wrong, shall we say? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm also looking at this part here because that's had massive cycle time reductions. Is that uh, right? Yes. On the machine we were, we was running these on, it was at one minute twenty seconds to do, to do this job, and now put them on Citizen, and it's down to fifty-seven seconds. Right. So I'm not going to do the math, but a huge, huge saving. Saving. How and why? Just because it is so fast at bar feeding, that's one thing we save a lot of time on. It's only about somewhere between about two and a half seconds to bar feed on Citizen, whereas on other machines it's more probably get to about ten seconds to do a bar feed. So it's not just a case of the tooling and the program; it's the actual the whole solution, bar feed as well. Bar feeding as well, because like on, on other machines you always bar feed normally. At the, it's the first thing you do when you do a program. You bar feed at the start of the job. On the citizen, we don't bar feed right at the end, so as it's parted off, it bar feeds bump gum. Yeah. So massive, massive time savings there. Any other reasons why, you know, you said you did a lot of research, any other reasons why you bought this citizen machine? Just because we've got machines aging, it's getting harder to just get spares for them, and you don't want to get to the point where the machines broke down, you can't get spares for it, and then you think, oh, I better go and buy another machine then, because you've got to keep on making, you can't stop. It's just a continuous thing. So. You've got to invest to keep ahead of, ahead of the competition, of course. But also, you said there about spares and service support. How's that been? I'm, I'm assuming there's been no issues with this machine. No, not many issues with it, and the only issue we have had have been sorted very promptly. Oh, right. Very promptly. So, we talked about the bar feed. I'm assuming you're running 24-7. Are there any issues with sort of holding tolerances and accuracy? 
Not at all, not on here now. Right from the start, with this part here, it's got a tight tolerance sink bore, and it, from switching machine on to it finishing, it sinks out. We never even have to alter it, so we'd have no thermal growth at all on here. So, yeah. Fantastic, so there you go. As you'd expect with Citizen Machines, fast, accurate, rigid, great service and support. And as you highlighted here, in terms of these components, easy use of the B-axis, easy use engraving, really fast in terms of cycle time, driven tooling. Shall I go on? Jason, you like the machine? Love it.